Hey my lovelies, welcome back to the channel. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm doing the intro just after I've done the outro for this video. But I'm pretty sure by the end of this video, you're gonna be pretty stoked about seeing what I'm looking at right now. And by the way, we have been doing a lot of work around the shop and I've become obsessed with these towels. I have a friend, Casey, who has just started working at Grip Clean and he sent me some of the stuff and said that I would love it. And he was absolutely right. So I'm gonna be upping on some of these. I have no idea what they cost, but yes, we need more for the shop for sure. Now we've been doing a lot this week, so let's catch you up. All right, so we just got back from that evaluation. What we're gonna do now is we're actually going to take the tub into the shop. I've just taken Nessie out. We've kind of cleared a space for that tub to get in here so that we can work on it in the cooler weather here. It is very hot outside. It's currently what we're doing. So here we have it. It has made it into the shop and it is so tiny. Look at it. It's so minuscule. I'm not used to having such little things in the shop. But remember, we're wanting the wheelbase close to Mischief Maker as possible. So we are gonna be stretching it. So what we have to do is just take off the Wrangler and all these sort of bits and bobs and all these nuts and bolts. We're gonna strip all of that. So let's get to tearing this thing apart. right here were causing quite a problem so what we actually had to do was take a drill and drill through the middle of those I think it was just all the paint and everything and they were completely stripped so I got to work of course but honestly pushing that drill and pulling at the same time did not feel the best so Walter took over We have made it to elite powder coating and sandblasting here in St. George and we've done everything that we've needed to do and now it's just time to unload and get this thing in there. We're going to come back tomorrow and we are actually going to see the whole process. I've never seen it before. Let's see you tomorrow. And it's the next day and we're here. They actually sandblast in a different location just across the road. So it is set up right in here. We're gonna go over. We're gonna film a little bit of it and just kind of see and watch the process. I am really excited.
that was honestly so mesmerizing to watch. I could have just stayed there all day and watched them do that. But we had to head back to the shop to get rid of the white cab. So we had to load it up and we took it up to Rudy's where he is gonna store it for us. so much easier for us. No, it's not another lift, but it is a rotisserie. We're gonna be able to sit that chassis on there. We're gonna be able to turn it over and do pretty much everything on every angle. So I'm really, really excited about this. Let's go see where it is. All right. Here it is. It is very intimidating, but I can't wait to rip this box open. We have to put this together before picking the tub up and the chassis up. So we have our work cut out for us today, but I think we got it. Okay, we've had the call. Everything is ready to pick up from the sandblaster. So we're gonna head on over there just now. The dog is loaded up. We're getting loaded up. The trailer is loaded up. Time to go pick it up and see just how beautiful this whole thing looks. All right, I just went in and paid. They are fantastically priced for what they've done. And um, they're getting the chassis on the forklift as we speak to put it back on the trailer. It looks completely great. This is, a lot of you are gonna be like, that's how everything looks when they're set, when it's sandblasted. But I've never seen anything sandblasted before. It looks so clean. I am very, very excited to get started on this project soon. Not yet but definitely soon. can tell that we have had a pretty busy week so far and it does not stop there we now have to get mischief maker back into the lift position and on the lift because i'm finally going to address the problem in the front immediately see the problem look at that a gaping hole oh <laughs> Hello, peekaboo, I see you. Nope, came off. That's right. We got to get him prepped because no, we're no longer doing full hydro. We're actually going to keep the hydro assist, but we're going to relocate that steering box. So Don from RPM has sent us his kit to do that. And we're going to be switching up the front suspension. So before any of that happens and before those parts get here, I got to get him on the lift and I got to drop the axle. So let's get to actually working.
Now I know why you're wondering, why on earth don't you just drive the Jeep into the space? Well, our battery is dead and our charger has no charge. So we were pushing a 7,200 pound Jeep back into that space and it took some time. Before dropping the axle, I had to finish my axle stand. I had to put the casters on and instead of drilling, which I find really difficult at the moment, I just decided to weld them on. on the axle stand and the reason being is because I actually set this up very quickly very roughly for a super duty axle not mischief makers one so when I roll it underneath I'm not gonna be able to get any bolts out. like it's in the way of absolutely everything so I've had to take the brackets off where the tube sits on and uh, put it on the inside instead of the outside still doesn't work so we're going to pop a nice little chunk of tubing right here on the inside and then put the brace on the inside of that so it, that we can take everything out so we can get to all of the bolts. There's always something but it's so much fun being back in the shop actually wrenching actually working and welding so I have no complaints. Now look what we have right here. My beautiful axle, not under the Jeep, but over here. We're gonna be making a few changes here, but you'll see that in the next episode. So make sure that you tune in. So we've cleared most of what we need to underneath here. There's a couple more things that we need to get done, um, which you'll see next time. And there's gonna be some changes going on here. It's so much better working on your Jeep when you have that axle out of the way. So. Next episode, we're going to be working fully on Mischief Maker. There's not going to be any of this new tub trash. It's not really trash. Of course, it's the Scottish Hammer. It's the Jeep buggy, but we're going to be working on Mischief Maker so that I can get him back up and running. We're going to be putting that new suspension in, a new cross member, and some other things that you'll see. So it's, it's been a week. It's been a week, people. I hope you guys had a fantastic week. Have a great weekend, and thanks for watching. Cool. Now I need to get the dirt off my face and the dirt off my hands because I need to do an intro for this thing. <laughs>